Hello, hello! Today we're going to do a really quick and easy tutorial on how to make a dot grid in Adobe Illustrator. This is going to be really helpful if you're wanting to create something like a bullet journal page. So to get started, we're going to create an ellipse. So over here in our toolbar, we can see that we have a rectangle here. If you hold it down or if you right click it, you'll get the flower menu with these options. And we can either use a shortcut L or we can just click it here. So I'm just going to click anywhere, which is going to bring up a dialog box that will allow me to type in my dimensions. So I want my ellipse to be 0.05 centimeters and I want it to be proportional. So that's just created our ellipse. Over here, you can see that we have uh, Adobe Illustrator's default color set up, but I don't really want that. So I am going to hit slash, which will get rid of the color that we're currently editing. And then I am going to hit shift X, which will swap our fill and our stroke around. So this will leave me with a black dot. So I'm just going to click and drag to select it. And then over in our color panel, which mine's over here, but um, you can go window and you can go color. Uh, you can also go swatches if you've got um, swatches that you want to use. And I'm just going to make this 70% key, which is black. Now you can work in whatever uh, units you want, or if you want to work in RGB, that's fine. I'm just comfortable working in CMYK with centimeters. So we can see this is our little dot over here. It's very small. So now to create our dot grid, I'm going to go object, then pattern and make. So now I'm just going to call this our dot grid and with our width and our height this determines how far apart each copy is from each other so for this it's going to determine it from the center of your shape so i want to take into account the width of my shape which is 0.05 centimeters so if i want my dot grid to be 0.5 centimeters apart we would do 0.55 so i'll just enter those both in there and so now we can see that our grid is spread out a bit. So I am just going to click done up here and I'm going to delete this dot. Then I'm going to hit M, which is our rectangle, but you can also once again, hold that down or right click it to pull out that menu. I'm going to create a rectangle and then I'm going to select dot grid from swatches and that will be our fill. So if we zoom in and I grab another rectangle, we can see that from the width and the height that shows up next to my cursor, the width is 0.5. So we know that it's exactly right, exactly how far, how far apart we want it to be. So now, no matter what size template you want to make, this will be automatically adapting to the size. So for our width, if we wanted it to be an A4 piece of paper, we'd do 21 centimeters by 29.7. And it's going to be a little bit hard to see with uh, Adobe's normal background, but we can see that it perfectly fills out our dot grid. And from there, you can just adjust the sides of it because you can see that our pattern is essentially set in place and it's just revealed by our shape. So you can see how many dots you want visible, but it'll always adapt. So that's just one method of creating a dot grid. On my blog, Design Whispers, I've also put out another tutorial that's now a few years old, which is how to create a dot grid using a step and repeat uh, method that's an InDesign. And I've done another one in Adobe Illustrator which is a repeat step method. Both of these aren't as good as the pattern fill version, and I'll be making a new blog post with this version. If you like this video, make sure to like and subscribe. I release new videos every Tuesday and Friday.